today is a video of restoration. Here are one, two, three, four, five thrifted dolls. So they are going to the salon and look at this, look at the matting in the hair. So I am determined, this one has a haircut, but I really love her face. I love the vintage look, so I'm willing to try and save her and and even though it's been her hair's been cut i'm gonna try and go in and give her another bob haircut because i'm really interested in saving her and i, I like her out vintage outfit here's another one so so matted so these are going to go for a soak in the hot uh, boiling water treatment and i'm going to soak them and then i'm going to set them up in a lot of conditioner and look at this one, a lot of conditioner. Look at that, look how matted by that this is. So this is not at all ready for display. So I'm gonna go and clean them all up, give them a wipe down, a bath. And uh, first of all, what I do is I am gonna soak them in the hot water treatment. So stay tuned for all you Barbie rockers who love to salvage dolls like I do. I think they're worth saving. I think they're not worth tossing out. And um, once I do say, um, go into restore them, I, I will identify these dolls. Here they are. So these are the ones I've got one, two, three, four, five. And this I know it's a movie one. And I, I need to go in and um, get some blue and I'm going to re, um, redesign on um, the ad and clean up the dress also. So stay tuned. And this one was thrifted with a little um, cute little dress with a little kitty cat. Kitty cat there and these are the shoes on this doll. I'm going to go right in, strip the dolls naked and get them all cleaned out. That was a cute little outfit. I, I haven't identified her yet. So I really need to identify her. Okay, if anybody knows who uh, these brats are, leave them, leave them, uh, leave me a comment below, and I would truly appreciate that. So I'm gonna get started. Okay, so second step, I have removed all the clothing, and the dolls have to be naked because. I need to get in there to do a wipe down on them and also um, start soaking their hair. So what I've done is I've got a, um, a bowl of hot, hot water. I'm going to use um, Pantene. Yeah, so I'm going to use this Pantene, which is a two-in-one, but I'm going to use that at first and I'm just going to soak, start soaking the um, dolls and start loosening all the dirt from their hair. And so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the little bit of Pantene. So it's gonna be quite a few steps. So, oh my God, it is so hot. So let's just loosen the shampoo conditioner in there. And then once it's emulsified in the water, quite soft I'm gonna start with the process of taking the dolls and just starting to their hair into the water to loosen all the dirt that I can try and balance all the dolls here in the kitchen sink I mean the bathroom sink and whoops we've got a little tabby there but here we are so I'm gonna soak her in okay and then this one, oh my goodness, look at the mat on that. So I'm gonna soak her right in here. In warm water and I'm gonna show you the before and the after. And here we are, she's, I don't know what's in her hair, but it just seems like it's got some oil and grease in there. So I'm, and see the little filament wires in her hair? So I'm going to start soaking Barbie's head in there. Okay, and then this one needs to be soaked. This uh, flats. It's a Yasmin. 
and she needs to be soaked too because look at that mound of hair. So I'm gonna just put her on this side here. I'm gonna soak them in here. Oops, it's gone a little too far. Okay, so I'm just gonna have it there and then this one here. Okay, so I can feel the suds in there. Can you see the suds when you do a little toss? You see that? So I'm just gonna, this is what I do, but I don't want the brat's body completely, head completely in there. So I'm gonna try and balance it where it's just the top of the head in the water. So I'm just gonna go in there and just kind of loosen it up. So that, look at, look at the body, how it needs to be totally cleaned. So here we are, let's just soak them in and loosen the hair and I'm gonna get them all cleaned up. Okay, so it will be just a, oops, I didn't want her whole head in there. I just basically wanted the hair here. So let's just kind of balance her this way. Okay, so let's, and give it kind of a so I'm gonna do this a couple of times and before I can actually get them into whip them into great shape. Okay. So I wanna see what I can actually do with this Barbie here. Yeah, I just love her vintage, see her face, her vintage face. And that is what I love at. Um, Retrousse nose. And I love her eyeliner and her eye and her 3D of her face. So I want to soak her. And then, and you know what helps after you wash them? You do the shampoo conditioner and boil treatment on the hair. You can stand them, just get a glass bottle and put them in the bodies. I mean, put their bodies in the bottle and stand them up. And that way, I leave it for a couple of days to air dry before I whip them into shape and put them in my collection. But here we are. This one is, okay, I'm having a hard time with her because she keeps slipping in there and I don't want her whole head in. You just want the top part. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, so this is gonna soak for a little while and I will continue filming. Okay, so what I've done now is I've lathered each of the doll, doll off in a lot of conditioner and I'm going to give it a rinse under just tap, a tap and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over and I'm going to do a hot water boil and start dipping their hair in hot water just to get all the mat and hopefully that will help loosen the hair of the brat stalls. So come on and let's get to it. Warm water. Okay, I'm doing this with one hand. So I'm just kind of going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start rinsing off. How much hair this one? I wonder why. I need her hair has been cut off. Yeah, so let's um, rinse this one. This one is um, a different hair texture. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, which is so matted. So let's rinse off all the conditioner after I soak them in a um, soap and shampoo and so I'm going to just give it a, a rinse and as you can see it's still so matted so it definitely needs to go into the hot water boil soap. Let's see that out. This is a Yasmin and we're going to give her a quick rinse. Just give it a nice squeeze. Okay and then we're going to so here the dolls are, and let's do the last one here, my Barbie, my vintage Barbie head. So I'm kind of loving her, so I really want to, oh, and she needs some sort of blunt cut. 
because she's in really rough shape. Okay, so there we go. So, your face. A beautiful sculpt. Okay, so here we are. So I've got the dolls here. One. And now let's take them. See how matted the hair is still is so matted. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them over for the hot water boil wash, and that's really, really going to uh, I so love the curls in Yasmin's hair. So here we are. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so here we here I am. I've got a, a big pot of boil water, so it's just coming to a boil. And I've got the flames on. So all I'm gonna do is bring that to a boil. And then here are the dolls, they're ready, because as you can see, just with the, um, the shampoo and the conditioner I put on was just to clean the doll here. So I'm gonna do a boil wash, I'm gonna boil, dip them into the boil wash and then I am gonna put them flat and s slowly tease out gently the hair because it is so matted and I really really want to salvage these dolls that's what part of Barbie rocks we just love saving the dolls so I'm so eager to save all of them these ones here so of course the my collection is growing and from time to time, I need to spend time to clean the dolls and to get them ready so that I can put them on for display. And here she is. And she's got, um, I'm not sure who she is, but I'm going to have to identify her. So I'm yet to identify these dolls. But my goal here is just to give them a total, total cleanup. And here is, look how mad it is with the, sh with the, um, shampoo and conditioner that I did, the hair is still not up to snuff because look at all the mats. So the only way you're going to get these mats out is doing the hot boil treatment. So I've got the water on boil. As you can see, it's coming to a boil and it's almost ready. So I'm going to put it on a really low flame. Once it starts to bubble, Keep it on a really, really low flame. I'm just going to gently treat each doll one by one and gently ease them into the water and pull them out so that we can actually try and detangle all of this. Shampoo and condition the hair and it's gonna go in the hot boil treatment. And after the hot boil treatment, we're gonna comb them out. I might have to do maybe two hot boil treatments. So I'll try the first one, a dip, comb, slightly brush out, and we'll see how they come along. Okay. Okay, Barbie Rockers. It looks like the bubbles are coming to the surface. So what I'm gonna lower the flame to a very, very low setting. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop over and start with Yasmin. I'm going to be very, very gentle with her. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to pop the whole head in. I am only going to just to the surface of the scalp, but don't dip your entire plastic head in. You just want to basically loosen Yasmin's hair. So very, very gently. Okay, so I'm just going to let that drip. Okay, so I'm going to bring her back over. She is just steaming. Okay, I'm going to take the next doll. And you see how, how her hair is just so matted. So I'm going to do the same thing and gently, very gently, do not dip the brat's scalp into the water and very, very gently loosen her hair. Okay, so once I do that, I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, let's bring her back over. Okay, and let's do Barbie. Barbie is 
very short so I'm just gonna bring Barbie here and do the same thing because it's piping hot okay really want to save that one okay now comes Chloe and then I'm just gonna take each one you see how I've got Chloe's head but I do not want to get her um, scalp in the water at all I just want the the hair dipped into the water And give it a little swirl and it looks really good in the water you see how it's come loose you see that I think it's gonna turn out fabulous okay now I'm gonna take this one is I'm in major need of a hot boil trim look at the mat on this so gonna take her and you're gonna really dip it in okay and just let it sit there for just a few seconds at a time as you pull it up and down okay okay as we do this I'm gonna just let it sit there because this one's really in bad condition her hair is so matted but I love her face sculpt. I haven't identified this doll either, so I just let it sit there for a minute or just for a few seconds. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna take her out, let it drip. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off the stove. Okay, and then now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them over to the area where I'm going to comb that, it. Be very, very gentle. And what I do is, um, because it's been I a get brush it. that is very, very pliable, and what you do is just gently come down and start detangling the hair. Hopefully not a lot of hair follicles are going to come out, and hopefully not a lot of the plugs are going to come out from the root of the scalp. So just lay it down after you've done the boil wash. Now this here is really, really mad. So this is going to take me some time. So I've already, I've already washed the hair. I'm just going to go really gently and start detangling the hair. My goodness, I did not realize that when I thrifted these dolls, they were in such bad shape. But. I still had that vision in my head that if I could do the boil wash, they will turn out beautifully. Oh, okay, so there's the first one, that's Yasmin. So I'm going to take the next doll. Look how, look how, I mean, you can't even get the, the brush. That's how really, really mad these hair are. So it's going to take me a little while, a little. So just lay them flat. And look how mad the hair is. Okay, this near this near to the scalp is more perfect here and that's my goal is to start just kind of working your brush through and I and there's no really um, hair loss so far so I'm just gonna keep at that and then I'm gonna turn on the stove and do another dip I'm gonna do a couple of dips has much dips so here's this one this is um, the the Barbie here the Barbie with the filaments in the hair and her I think somebody actually cut her hair but because I love this face sculpt and she's turning out back beautifully and um, see, her, see someone has given her a haircut so I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna go it looks like it's like a shag haircut they've given her I'm pretty sure but it's coming out quite nicely. So just be gentle with your dolls and get a pliable brush where it's got a lot of bristle movement. Do not pull and tug on the hair. Can you see the um, filaments, the copper wires there? So 
that one is turning out lovely. She's going to be beautiful. I think I'm going to put some curls on the end and curl her, her hair out. Okay, now with this one here, this Chloe doll, I don't know if someone has actually cut the hair, but it just seems sparse to me. So I'll figure that out later. But again, lay your doll flat and start just gently tugging at your doll's hair. And this Chloe's not too bad because I think this says Coniclon, this hair um, texture. So it's working out quite nicely. It's not hard. So she's, she's fine, this Chloe doll. This one, now, this is going to be a challenge because this particular doll, it has a full set of hair. Beautiful hair, but it's going to need a couple of, look at this. It's going to need um, boil wash. So we're going to lay her flat again. And then we're going, look at that, look at that. So we're going to start just gently, I'm just going to start gently tugging at it, okay? Just to start loosening the hair. And then uh, again, I'm going to go back to the stove and I am going to see how mad that is. Okay, once I get most of the hair um, loosened out, I am going to go back and dip her in because she's going to do need about two dippings, I think, in the boil wash. It's not going to happen that easily, but so far my brush is coming through and it's good. she's gonna look great. So that's great, she, she's, she's on her way. I'm gonna go back to my first doll, Yasmin, and just give her a tug. Okay, I know Yasmin had her hair when it was in its new condition, had really nice um, curls in her hair. So I might put her back in curls with those um, curlers that I have. So she she's really, going to need a lot of work so once I do that and then I'll put them in curls again so I'm gonna try and go with the original flow of the hair so okay so that's a good start okay this is a good start for the this doll here and it's really quite matted okay hey rockers so she's coming along so with the boil wash, this is the first first dip, and I've given her a little brush up. But isn't she looking beautifully? And look at the way her hair is cut. I love that. She's got layers on the bottom. Okay, so that was the first one. Chloe here is coming along too. So I've got to figure out who she is. But her hair is not bad. Her hair is much easier because it's a it's a different um, material than this first Bratz doll and then Barbie is looking oh I love her I'm glad I brought her back to life and there's her hair okay and then here is the other Bratz doll she's coming along and how, what do you guys think what do you think she's looking good okay and then here is Yasmin and she's got a lot of hair, really, really um, matted. But look, it's coming along. You see how matted it was? But I'm going to do a few more dips. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually do curls back in her hair. So let's um, move on over to the dip station. And let's do the second dip. You guys see that the water is coming to a boil again? So I'm going to start with Yasmin. She's looking rather gorgeous. She's coming coming to life and I can't wait. So here she is. I just want to show you the texture of the hair. So I'm going to show you, I'll hold her up. Can you see her texture of how it's coming along? And the mats are coming out. So let's take her. You know what, it, does, it, it almost feels like it's already dried. So it does not take long. It only takes a couple of hours for the brat's hair to dry. So here she is. She is a beautiful doll that I rescued. Okay, so let's take her and let's go for the dip again. So remember, keep the scalp. So what I'm gonna do is let's tackle one at a time while the hair is piping hot. 
That way I can get my brush in there and keep the scalp out of the hot water, okay? So make sure you just touch the top, but gently go up and down into the boiled water. I kept the flame a little higher because I want the water to come to a nice hot boil. And so I'm going to really have to get in there, loosen all her fibers. Can you see that? Okay, let's go back in. Can you come on top? So here she is. Okay, with this particular one, let's let's take her over to the cold right away. Because while it's hot, okay, so follow me. Let's just let it drip a little bit. You see the steam coming off her hair? So this makes it really, really easy to get your, your pliable brush through, okay? So while it's piping hot, come and give it a comb out right away. It works. It works, rockers. So, so there we go. It, she smells so fresh from her, her wash. And I am going to go pull out the bag of curlers because I am going to right away after this. So look at her. Look at her. She is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Guys, girls, this is the best treatment. The hot boil treatment. Look. Oh my goodness. She looks beautiful. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dip her in one more time and quickly bring her to the brush station and brush her out really quickly again. So let's go one more time. So let's turn that water down low. But let's do it one more time and she will be ready. So she will be ready for a real nice quick curl. So, so I'm gonna do that for all uh, one, two, three, four, five dolls. So, but I'll focus on this one and I'm gonna show you the curls that I put her in. Okay, so let's leave it there for a couple of seconds. Count about, say about 10 seconds, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's great. That will do it. Okay, so let it drip. And as you comb out, look how easy that is. Look at that Barbie Rockers. Oh my God, I can't believe it. She is awesome. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put her in curlers right away. So I'm gonna take her hair. So a few strands of hair will come out. Hardly anything, so we did good. So all you do is take a pair of scissors and just kind of even out her hair. Okay, and then comb it out while it's hot. And I tell you, Barbie Rockers, the hair dries so fast. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna take her. Okay, she looks gorgeous. Can you see that? Okay, oh my goodness. Now that, you know who she is? I think Yasmin, and she's got the really long hair. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna identify her. I think I know who she is. But here she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Now, I don't know what I should do. Should, what do you guys think? Should I put curls in here, in her hair, or should I just let it go natural? Hmm. Okay, she looks great. Okay, I think I know who she is. Okay, there she is. So let's hold her up. Isn't that great? Now, you can have a lot of fun with her now. I think, you know what, I'm not gonna put curls in her hair. I think I'm just gonna leave it um, naturally long like this because I think I know which doll she is. Okay, so let's try one more. So she looks great. Do you guys like how she turned out? Okay, so that there's our first one. Okay, let's, let's go back here and I wanna work on her. Beautiful. I think she's a gorgeous doll. Okay, so I'm gonna take her. Her hair smells very fresh. 
and I'm gonna go in the water is still boiling and let's go in and I don't want she's got earrings on and so I don't want to damage those earrings at all all I want to do is I want to just get the hair dipped in keep the scalp above the water but you've got to get try and get right in there like can you see how matted that is and I really want to get that in so I'm gonna just hold it there like that Yeah, okay, so I'm going to just give her here a gentle tuck. So here we are. Try to get her right in there. Okay, again, with this one here, while it's steaming hot, take her to the combing station and give your doll a quick, gentle comb out because while it's hot, it's the easiest to get it all straightened out. She's a real gorgeous doll. Okay, so take her out. Let it drip. Okay. Um, comb out. Oh my goodness. It's so much easier, but be really gentle. And ugh, so far, not much hair has come out. Um, yeah, so here she is. She's come. Now, I can get the brush through now, quite easily. So, just really gentle. Bratz, um, all I can say, Bratz did a really good quality doll line. Really, really quality. The plastic, the types of hair, the types of clothing. Really, really great doll line. So, here we are. I'm going to give it a comb out. And here she is. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to just pull her hair all into one corner and see just a little bit came off. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to trim that off and discard that and they look, she looks great. So I'm not quite sure if I want to put curls yet in her hair. Let me just think about it because it's so easy to do, like I'm going to leave them with the hair just long without curls and then if I want to add the curls I will but I really just wanted to get a nice great comb out on her hair okay so so she is looking gorgeous now okay let's let's hold her up oh my goodness look at her she looks fabulous. So her hair is still wet, but can you see how beautiful she turned out? So she's going to be ready once I dry her tomorrow to go into my doll collection. So I think they turned out great. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. There is Yasmin from what when I thrifted her to how she is now. Isn't she gorgeous? I love her. I love her how she's turned out. So give it a try, Barbie Rockers. Try this hot boil treatment. I have the other dolls waiting, so I'm going to work. Okay, so here is the final, final results of the hot boil wash. I think it turned out beautifully. Now, here we are. Don't you think they turned out beautiful? Look at her hair. And here's a Chloe. Chloe turned out beautifully. And here is my vintage Barbie. She turned out beautifully. I can't wait to put some little curls on the end because I'm going to make her a real cute hairstyle. And this one was the roughest one of them all. And her hair was totally, totally matted. I try to rescue it as best as I can. I think what I'll do with her is that I am going to, um, somehow I'm going to give her a trim along the ends because I j the frizziness is just too much. So I've got to figure out what type of hair that is. And if I can use a flat iron, 
I will do, but I've got to figure out what kind of hair texture this is. But all in all, here we are. I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial. I hope that it inspires you to rescue your dolls. Was I used a pair of scissors, a bristle. Uh, make sure your bristle is very pliable, so not too much hair came off the dolls. So that was it. What's in the bristles there? So, and that's all you need. And this is how they turned out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care and have a wonderful evening, everybody.